Do you remember the famous Irani gang that was caught a few years ago? Yes, we are talking about the same gang that was infamous for its chain snatching methods. There has been a major breakthrough in this case and kudos to our Bengaluru cops. But before we go any further, let's tell you who these people are, what do they do and what did our cops do? Bengaluru has not been a safe place for women in the recent past. With many crimes against women being reported every single hour of the day, it is indeed a city that has earned a bad reputation. Among the crimes being perpetrated, the most prominent one, of course, rape and molestation, and the second has to be chain snatching. It has turned out to be a menace for a long time now. Let's introduce a gang which is famous for doing this in the state. Though Bengaluru cops have caught members of this gang twice, the crime only continues. Before we proceed, we give you some information about this gang. Who are these people? What is their modus operandi? Where do they come from? Who are their targets? Initially, it was a gang of three. They used to pose as cops. They traveled by flight to Delhi all the time. But for what? Well, this story will shock you. You must be aware of the Irani gang that posed as city cops and robbed people of their jewelry in various localities of our city. The city cops were successful in nabbing the gang but it seems the story did not end there. Bengaluru recently witnessed a series of chain snatching cases that took place in different localities of our city. While the city cops thought they had successfully nabbed the Irani gang, there came another threat to the department. A gang of three chain snatchers prowled the city, putting the lives of many Bengalurians in a state of fear. The gang seemed to have the expertise as they showed their skills by looting many people in a day. This turned out to be a jigsaw puzzle for the Bengaluru police as they had recently nabbed the Irani gang and had no clue about the new gang that prowled the streets of Bengaluru. Who were they? And what did they do? We will tell you. Raja Rajeshwari Nagar, Bengaluru. Meet Lakshmi Devamma, a resident of RR Nagar. It was noon when Lakshmi Devamma stepped out of her house to buy some fresh vegetables. On her way, she was stopped by a gang of three who posed as cops. One of the gang members told Lakshmi Devamma that a murder had taken place in the locality and it was not safe for her to wear jewellery. The gang asked her to remove all the jewellery and also gave her cover to put all of them into it. The gang then asked for the cover from Lakshmi Devamma, examined it and told her to keep it safely inside her bag. Lakshmi Devamma was then surprised by the behaviour of the cops as it was the first of its kind that she had noticed in the city. But she was in for a shock when she returned home and saw the cover given to her by the gang who posed as cops. Yes, all her jewellery had been stolen. Lakshmi Devamma 
in a state of shock, immediately rushed to RR Nagar Police Station where she lodged a complaint. RR Nagar Police Station was in the ideal home circle. Bali, Mount Carmel Chale Atra, Lakshmi Devi in Takanda Arvatan Varshida, Maila in Akanda Octave Bakare, Murjana, Yardo, Baikila Libando, Baikan Nilsi, Limunde, Koreagide, now Police Ru, Agagi New Vitra, Abandon and Dreskondo Vardo, Abandon and Beach Kurina Kurtu and Tere, Gaelic Merge, Auro Kaili Dantanala, Valagana. ಸರವನ್ನ Similar cases were registered the same day in various localities in the city. This turned out to be a big headache and challenge for the city cops as the reputation of their department was at stake. The cops were now in a fix over the fact that a gang posing as cops looted and plundered the entire city. The cops did not wait anymore. D.C. Rajappa, Deputy Commissioner of Police West Division, immediately took up the case and formed a team comprising of Jnana Bharati Inspector Balraj and R.R. Nagar Inspector Ravi Kumar. ACP Dugappa headed the team and thus began their hunt. The team was immediately instructed to nab the gang and make necessary plans and arrangements. The cops also alerted the city crime branch officials to look into the case and help the team nab the gang successfully. Cops began their investigation and examined Lakshmi Deva Ma's case to collect some evidence. They also inquired in the surroundings of the spot where the robbery took place. And during this, the cops got a clue about a bike bearing the registration MH, which is an abbreviation for Maharashtra. The team headed by ACP Durgappa then collected all the information about the cases registered in different police station limits and were surprised to notice one thing in common. 